Hi, Memphis Art Center Poetry Gathering friends. This is Vince. And Naomi. Dispenza. And we welcome you to our home once again for our May 2020 Poetry Gathering. Naomi and I are filming several videos tonight to share with you some wonderful words. This segment is filled with words from our Poetry Gathering friends. We'd like to encourage you, if you've written some poetry, to send them to us. and Perhaps we'll share them with you in June. But most of all, we'd like to encourage the students out there if you've written some poetry, please send them to us. We want to feature your words during our June 2020 Poetry Gathering. So now let's share some of the words from our Poetry Gathering friends. First, some haikus from our good friend Robert. Raindrops drip off daffodil trumpets. March tempo. Raindrops drip off daffodil trumpets. March tempo. Dusty baseball glove lies forgotten on a shelf, catching memories. Dusty baseball glove lies forgotten on a shelf, catching memories. And finally, on the moon, a sea of tranquility, peaceful tidings. On the moon, a sea of tranquility, peaceful tidings. Thank you, Robert. Next, two poems from our good friend, Lynn Esposito. We miss you, Lynn. First, fabric. Yo-yo birds seam the sky, quilted to the clouds. A blanket folds itself. Invisible fingers rub the unseen edges. All the warmth of the universe is stitched into scraps of white and blue. And you, wrapped up there somewhere asleep, I down here stitching with my eyes, a needle so fine it does not glint, slides through the reality with its sharp point to reach the other side. Your story, still being told in the images set into the fabric I hold in my mind. And next, also by Lynn, the searchlight glistens through the fog. It is morning, a May Tuesday, on my way to work. Overhead, a searchlight discovers me on the highway, then disappears. Fog holds tiny bits of misty light, a few seconds more, like fireflies set free to keep the dark away from me. Thank you, Lynn, we hope you're well. And finally, from Pam and a friend Rita. Pam's advice from a lake. Make positive ripples. Stay calm. Look beneath the surface. Take time to reflect. Shore up friendships be full of life. And in response to Pam's words, her friend Rita writes, high tide laps the gray pier, clouds part for warming sun, glittering wave peaks dazzle. And lastly, we'd like to share three haikus in the form of one poem written by Pam called The Great Blue Heron Courtship. Smooth gliding heron carries royal branch to nest. Courtship gift. Great blue female accepts ceremonial branch, sticking together. Hungry heron chicks await parental feeding. Movable feast. Thank you all for your wonderful words. And again, Naomi and I encourage you, send your poems to us, especially the students. We love to hear from you and share them with you all during our June Poetry Gathering. Thanks for listening. Good night. Good night.